so hello everyone <laughs> hope you're all doing well <laughs> and I guess I'm late to the party just one moment I have to do this very important thing <laughs> for a second ah. chamomile tea <laughs> from the UK <laughs> Um, so we have Wookie says, Hi my friend, I hope you are well. I have a question. Hello Wookie, good to see you here and sure you will be first up for your question. And Juanpa says, Pura Vida Mehran and Pura Vida to you as well, Juanpa. Alberto Mejia or Mejia or Mejia. <laughs> Am I butchering your name? Okay. <laughs> And Alberto says, I don't see anything, really? Do you guys see me? Do you guys not see me? <clears throat> Anybody see me? Anybody hear me? Everybody hears me okay and sees me okay? Alberto says, he doesn't see anything. So, yeah, okay. Hello, Chris. <laughs> so, Wookie says, Okay, let me just say hellos and I'll be right with you, Wookie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chris says, hello, Mehran. I'm moving into my house. Wow, that's a great news. Soon, but as you know, it will be on my own. Yeah, and that's great. <clears throat> Can you give me any tips on how to stop my mind wandering back to the past? And stay focused on the present. Thank you. Sure, we'll talk about that as well. Let me finish the hellos. Wayne says uh, from Ireland, I guess. <laughs> Am I right? Says, hi, Mehran. Hope your weekend was good. Hey, what happened to the protocol, you guys? You know, gender, age, and where you're tuning in from? Unless you think I'm a real wizard and I remember everything, which I thank you for that. <laughs> After, <clears throat> after forever six says, what kind of questions do you answer regarding what topics? Okay, if you look at the <clears throat> um, topics or the writing title of the live talk, it says, are you going through a bad breakup? Are you having negative thoughts? So pretty much we will talk about topics to do with thoughts, consciousness, fear, desire, ego, order and how we have been put together things that concerns us and makes us who we are what we are matters of the psyche and then we use all that in order to address um, challenges of uh, heartbreak relationship problems divorces what you're going through how to move on why you feel the way you do and all the things that you feel after a breakup so on this channel as you all know, or most of you know, we have about 2,000 videos. Almost anything you can think of after, under the sun, anything that you can think of after a breakup to do with your emotional hardship, breakups, things to do with your uh, psyche as far as thoughts, consciousness, fear, desire, ego, what they are, how they're related to each other, why and how they make us feel the way we do and, you know, the things that makes us who we are. Then, of course, um, all those videos have addressed most of these topics. And if still you need uh, some other discussions um, based on a particular um, instance or a situation that you have, you can always go to my site, mindthatseekstruth.com, and uh, either you know take a look at the table of contents of the books that I've written and see if that suits you and takes care of the problems or the things, the questions that you have. And if not, then you can click on Talk to Mehran via Skype and make an appointment and we'll explore what's concerning you one-on-one -on, -one on Skype. And of course, until further notice, if you make a half an hour appointment, I'll give you another half an hour complimentary. And if it's one hour appointment, you will receive a one hour extra time complimentary on the house. <laughs> so having said that, after Forever Six, I hope that was clear and thank you for that question because that gave me an opportunity to 
plug the channel. So <laughs> what we do here? <laughs> we have reached thousands and thousands of people around the world. We have received many, many wonderful uh, reviews from the people who have had the chance to check out the uh, channel or have had the we've had the opportunity to discuss on YouTube on um, Skype together uh, their concerns and therefore we hope that we will be more um, we will receive more exposure so more people will find about our channel and get help free of charge all these things are free of charge unless you go on my site and then everything there including the appointments and all that of course would have to have economic viability to them so having said all that let's go back to see what we have here and answer a few questions i'll be with you for about an hour or maybe more depending on the interest and the number of people here and the questions that we have and i hope we'll have just as much fun as i hope to have and we have had during the past many years now our first question was to do with Wookie Wookie. Wookie says, as you remember, as you may remember, I am studying law and I graduate this summer. Ah, good, wonderful. Since then, I have started my master's and my LPC to qualify as a solicitor. The reason I did both is for funding, which I wouldn't have got otherwise but I'm really struggling and I have just sent an email to my professor to see her tomorrow and waiting on a response I also contact the welfare team earlier this week and I feel like giving up and I hope I am not here for my January exams Wookie what kind of bullshit are you talking about here? Are you serious? Do you think just by thinking of some easy way to release your hardship that you're going through for what you have dreamed of all your life and to accomplish something important, you can get away from this uh, momentary challenge that you might be feeling? Every one of us in this world who sets out to accomplish an important task or any regular daily life, day-to-day -day task may have a setback, may find himself in a pickle, may find himself not so enthusiastic, may find him or herself a shy of patience and wants to give up. Why? Because we are living in an era that we've been conditioned since childhood that everything should be readily available. Now! I want that hat now! I want that shoes now! I want to be a champion in tennis now! I want to finish my studies now! I want that house, I want that money now! Give it to me because I want it now! I have no patience, I don't want to work for it, I just want it! We are the generation of entitlement. We are entitled to everything. Why? Because we have received so much love from our parents, you know, and we think we're special. And because we think we're special, and we are, every one of us, we want things. And unless we want things, we get things, we are not confirmed, we are not convinced that we are worthy. And um, for that, we just want it. We don't think that we deserve to have to go through the hardship or try as hard as we should, as hard as our parents did in order to make a life. We just want our life to be better than theirs or without the amount of work that they had to put into it. So, I don't believe that a man like you who worked so hard and brought himself to edge of graduation as you just said you're going to be graduating where this summer I don't think a man like you who went through all that hardship and brought himself to where you are 
is actually worried about the work, or it's actually find themselves incapable of accomplishing the last mile. I think there would be a little glitch here and there somewhere else. So what is the real underlining of this decision? Have you gone through some kind of a breakup? Have you been disappointed? Have you started conjuring up about how the future is and it's unworthy of all these sacrifices that I'm doing and what am I doing this all for? Have you lost your connection with the universe? Have you lost your connection with the nature? Have you lost your connection and the importance that each one of us have and including especially you, especially in the field that you are law who can bring freedom which is what we are all seeking since childhood freedom that's where the f that's that's where the screams around the world is and you being one of the gates of opening that possibility for many people in the world to get their dreams your dream might be to become a lawyer but their dream is just to be free to have their rights not to be abused not to be um, taken advantage of by corporations by this person or that person unlawful behavior and all that all their dreams depends on you and how important you are you've forgotten all that and your place in this world and suddenly you want to put your feet up and say well you know what i don't know what i'm doing this for you're doing it for all those voices that cannot be heard. You're doing it for all those people who have dreams and the dreams have been taken away by some bully somewhere. That's why you're becoming a lawyer. And you're gonna do lots of pro bonos because that's why you became a lawyer. And make as much money as you want. Why not? You deserve it. But go back to the basics. Why did you want to become a lawyer? You must have a gracious heart. You must have had the motivation bigger than money. You must have had a reason of something amazing to do, something worthwhile, something noble. And you found what it is more important than bringing the rights and freedom that people deserve and it's their right to have it against the systems that you're trying to abuse them and take those rightful rights of ours away uh, through the same game that the people who wanted to control us put it together the law and you are going to be the advocate you are going to be the person who brings that freedom that hope that glimmer of hope that everybody is 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 trying to bring to themselves and help them to reach that I bloody well getting to complete your education. I don't give a shit what you're going through. You pull up your socks and get that fucking degree and go help people. And in the meantime, get wealthy, rich, and have enough time to do whatever the hell it is that you want to do that is deviating from your main purpose here. So don't give me that shit. Go see that professor and say, uh, Professor, I just want to tell you that I'm so delighted to be here and I want as much help as I can get to uh, finish this um, um, <clears throat> challenge and finish this um, study with honor at the best as I can do. So that's why I'm here. I'm not here to quit because if I do, Mehran is going to get on a plane and come over to wherever you, the hell you are. What is it, UK? <laughs> And I'll beat you with the ugliest thing. So, hope you had enough of me here and you got the gist of it. So, go to it, buddy. <clears throat> Never give up. Never give up. All right. Let's see. Hmm. So I wasted my time. You already graduated. <laughs>
that's good news. We'll see how fast we get resolved when I get done talking. <laughs> I'm glad that my words really got to you and suddenly you graduate. Oh, gee, I didn't know I'm that effective. <laughs> so, he says, I have graduated already and started my <laughs> master's and LPC in September. The work isn't actually that difficult, but the volume of work is too heavy. I'm so far behind and I'm not sure what to do. Ah, that's easy. Just do them one at a time. <laughs> Don't focus on how much work is left and you're behind. Just focus on that very one that you're working on. That's all. And when that's finished, focus on that very next one that you're going to be working on. That's all. And when that's finished, focus on that very next one that you're going to be working on. That's all. One by one, chisel by chisel, you can bring a mountain down. You know, there was this old man sitting right at the bottom of the hill, a big mountain, and he was chiseling stones. And somebody passed by and says, what the hell are you doing, old man? He says, I'm trying to bring this mountain down. So are you nuts? He says, no, it's been put together piece by piece and I'm gonna bring it down piece by piece, no matter how long it takes. But as long as I continue this chisel on this rock, it will come down bit by bit. That's the way you should go through life. Everything, almost everything is doable. Certainly the stuff that you're talking about. So, Wookie Wookie says, on top of this, I'm working at solicitor's office. So, okay, good. You're working, what do, what do you want? A, a, a bloody ticker taped parade? This is what you do. That's your job. And you're doing it for you and for many other people. And you're going to reap the benefits. You're going to get all the echelons that you're looking for. The success and experience that you're looking for. You want to be good at something, you got to work the fucking hard as fuck as you, as hard as you can. I had too many fucks in there. That wasn't good. But I meant, I meant to stress on the word, on the importance of <laughs> getting that done. So... <laughs> So, bloody well get it done. I'm getting really angry here, I guess. <laughs> Let me have some tea and calm down. <laughs> so in other words, don't give up, my friend. We're all looking around the world, looking for people who stick to things. There are enough of people who let go of things. As soon as it becomes hard, they let go. I want you to stick it. Learn it. And create a certain kind of a schedule, organization, skills of priorities, then suddenly that whole lot of work will look more organized, more manageable. Why? Because you have a system. You pick the certain cases that are more time sensitive. The ones who are not, well, there will be time to get to them. Urgent ones, you attend to them quicker. And you establish a rhythm. And when you find organization and order, then things seems to be lightened up and you'll be fine. Then you get used to it. It's like anything you do in life. At first it's hard. It seems impossible. Even going to a tennis court, you want to hit the ball, it keeps going all directions. Why? Because you don't know how to hold your arm, how to hold the racket, what angle, what pressure of the racket and the strings, what kind of rackets, what distance you should have with the ball, what position you should be, what balance you should have, where you should wait for the ball rather than run after all these things and eventually after a while practicing and keep hitting and correcting and thinking and analyzing, then it becomes natural for you. Every ball would be pretty much perfectly hit. But it takes time to create that natural order that you need in order to deal with whatever it is that you're dealing. Getting the synaptic neurons line up and know what to focus on, what to become really good at. Right now it's a mishmash. You're doing this and that and everything and thinking about all that when you're doing one thing. I want you to think about that one thing when you're doing that one thing, not everything else while you're doing that one thing. Focus is power. You should be able to bring focus to whatever it is you're doing in life because that's where the power lies. Otherwise, if you keep being unfocused, you think you're not getting things done because you won't. You know, concentration 
is power. So have the ability to be able to concentrate on what that is that you want to accomplish at that moment, rather than having it overshadowed by all the other things that you should be doing or you should have to do after this. No, one at a time, and that will be much better approach. I hope that gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of a, Wookie says, it was because of you I graduated. I mentioned you in my acknowledgement for my thesis. Ah, <laughs> I want to have a copy of that. <laughs> Send me a copy of that thesis. <laughs> I know you said you will, and I wondered. If sometimes I, doth, I did think of the person who, who said it. I wasn't sure it was you. And I said, I remember somebody said, I wonder if he graduated. I never heard back from him. <laughs> Okay, my email is this. Um, Mehran at mind that seeks truth.com. There is my email. Um, <laughs> well, you know, it's uh, it's so delightful that you have graduate, and uh, I remember. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. But don't you allow yourself to give up on things that you want to accomplish just because they're tough. Almost everything that is worth your focus and concentration is tough. There's nothing easy in this world. But what makes it easy is your skillfulness. And that comes when you really do more of it and get used to it. it suddenly becomes possible. Remember how it was when you wanted to ride a bike? It was impossible. How could I balance on two wheels? But somebody helped us and we tried, we wanted to, and we learned it. Why? Because we had seen others do it. So we were sure it can be done. So I just have to put more focus and effort into it. Same thing. Sometimes we find ourselves in tough situations in life, which every life has tough situations. Everybody has it. And then we wonder, how can we go through it? But when we look at others who have done harder things, more difficult things, we get encouraged that it is possible. And lo and behold, you can be damn sure that it is possible. My father was a lawyer, I'm sure you all know, and was a damn good one. Uh, in fact, he was one of the lawyers who freed, uh, I don't know, many, many uh, airmen who were sentenced to firing squad, and he was chosen from the Bar Association to be their uh, lawyer, and he freed them all. <laughs> There is such a feeling when you do something amazing, wonderful, to help people's quality of life, to get justice for them. And I'm sure that if you continue and see the feelings you get from good cases that you helped justice, you helped people who were being railroaded or bamboozled or being taken advantage of or being you know, you know, um, taking their rights away and you can help them to restore that. That would be worth millions of dollars. Maybe you won't make that kind of money in that case, but you will feel just as rich. You gotta change the values that you're looking for in life. Don't worry about why people do things. Most people do things for money and it is very important to get good money for what you do because you know, that's a lifestyle. But try to combine something else to that what you receive as your fees. And that would be satisfaction of having helped something beyond value to people. Why do you think I would continue doing what I'm doing? 
what, five years into it? We've got 18,500 subscribers. Once in a while, I, you know, uh, there would be some super chat or whatever or some money here and there, but it's not a big money here. I'm unknown. The channel is unknown. But that doesn't make me cool off on the quest that I'm on. Because I'm only focusing on the one that somewhere in the world was suffering yesterday and wanted to kill himself or kill herself. Was suffering in pain and couldn't go on in his life or her life. Disappointed and didn't know what it all means, what it means to his own affirmation, value, worth and value and why he's here. And having gone through the videos that we have on this or having had a chance to talk to him on Skype, suddenly his eyes brighten up and hope comes through and he goes on and enjoys and learns that he can be happy because happiness is not dependent on other people or things. It's just a choice. If we have the basics of life and we have you know, a reasonable health, it's just a choice then nothing attached to it it can be attained and when they see that and when i see that they see that they go on and become fruitful in their life that's a beautiful feeling for me i get up with thousands of blessings from people around the world with their emails happy and thanking for the videos and our discussions and although there is not much money following it up but it gives me the feeling that I am doing something for the people that we are all in it, in the same boat together. So if I can be of some help, that's great. Now eventually we'll get to know, you'll be known, and there will be more support and more viewers and more subscribers. So we'll have more advertisements, money coming to our channel and the money will fall if you love what you're doing if you enjoy what you're doing if you take pride into it and have different motivation than just the money the money will come easy so focus on the enjoyment and the value of your work and your effort and your services not just on what can be traded these services for that will come that is part of the equation you can't escape becoming wealthy, even if you tried not to. <laughs> as long as you give the right service and feel good about it and proud of it and persevere and never give up. So, manage it, Wookie, with all that work. You deserve to stick it around and stick around and see the progression and advancement of your efforts in life many times one feels to give up but you will not know why you didn't give up unless you didn't give up and you went further and notice what was awaiting you on the next season next chapter next intersection next story next month next encounter next endeavor so for that next, we always continue as much as humanly possible. All right. Let me stop that um, <clears throat> uh, video because it stops every half an hour. Then I turn it back on so we go another half an hour. One moment, please.